Hello everybody, my name is Tokriv and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. And we're still in July of 36, so Germany still has the shape of Germany, at least uh, pre-World War II Germany. Uh, modern day Germany has a cut somewhere around here, I think. Um, probably, no, maybe like here-ish. Yes, so... The Germany has lost all of this. Um, this is actually now part of Russia still. There's Poland and not actually entirely sure. Well, there's the Ukraine, there's Belarus. Uh, of course, these three countries are about the same size as well. All of that jazz. But anyway, let's just get this um, rolling again. Let's see if there's anything special to mention. Usually happens within the first hours of restarting your game. There it is. Um, Switzerland stops their import of my energy. Which is sad, but expected. Yeah, well, we still have a lot of time left. Oh, right. My, all oh, right. My transport fleet arrived because I wanted to get these guys all in the, on the other side of Germany. So I will take them. It's quite easy. You click to load. And then you set them off there. And that should move them back and forth again. Uh, um, give them money for fuel. No thank you. Um, there's a new one there. Money for fuel. No, 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 no. no. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I need the next one to move right to Stettin as well. Uh, the cavalry has arrived. Actually, it's going well. I'm going to keep them in Königsberg, I guess. Um, no decline. Uh, okay, my infantry arrived. This is basically how you actually play the war as well, but it, the speed is just not helping right now. Transport them. And the ship will then go back, so we need to send it once more to Stetten for a rebase order. So it actually will start transporting other stuff back again. So these uh, three units here will have priority on getting uh, artillery brigade attached to them. That's about it. Um, accepted military access offered by Siba Sanma. Okay, they're attacking each other, I suppose. Anything? That's intelligence, not which I wanted. Again, no on the fuel deal, really. Using fuel, it's mostly because of our uh, ship going back and forth and trying to recover. We're losing some on supplies. But this still looks pretty fine as it is. What I need is to just go to diplomacy and spend some money on fuel. Uh, they do have a huge amount of surplus money, so I'm going to offer... USA, some supplies until they don't want them. That's about it. They should accept that. So for now, I'm just going to go to Venezuela. Um, oh, all right. He is, we actually stopped one right before the end. Mexico, 3.29. Maybe they want to sell us a little bit. Apparently, yeah, they would um, sell us this much, I guess. They all have accepted our deals. And no, and no. We're not giving you money. Okay, now we can go back to... Um, actually, I want to keep training with the USA because relations actually impact the prices you get from them. So that 120 relations is actually really good. Netherlands. Uh, give them money for fuel. Again, not happening. Wow, fuel, and that's fuel, and that's fuel. Ecuador wants to trade fuel, Italy wants to trade fuel. Uh, no energy, actually, that one I will accept. Um, no longer receive money for some energy, no, no. 3.17, can I trade with the US again? There we go, Um, 3.17. That actually makes it a bit cheaper for us to buy stuff from the US every time because our relations go up. And they will give us more money for their crap as well. 
Uh, again, no and no. So, I hope that's it, because now I'm getting barely any money income as it is. But we're gaining 52 crude oil every day, which is really good. Hmm, now we're losing money again. Losing a lot, actually. How is that possible? Uh, it doesn't matter, we get some more tech done. And we have a complete division ready for deployment. Now, okay, so, like, that's both of these. So this gives us access to marine infantry. 1937, we'll probably research them next year. What else comes available? Lowry Siege of Equipment, that's also really good to get. But they're a little bit more expensive. The one we certainly need is Arctic Warfare Equipment. That's actually one for this year, so... Because when you go into Russia, you're gonna need winter clothes. Just saying. Uh, for now, I think we can keep researching these. It's actually just a... Ooh. Actually, no. It's not that good. Um, I will start on these two equipments then. They're done in April, which is perfectly fine. That should... That's June. So, ah, yes. As you can now see... My, because my industry practical, construction practical, has gone up, it's actually going to speed up the research of both industrial production and efficiency to be faster than submarine hull next level, which is really good for us. And in the meantime, looking at the list, everything else is still in the right order. So now we're researching these two because they're at 36. And once we research every new unit we build, we'll already include them. Oh, this was actually our first anti-air unit. And the first of these we want to have in the west. I actually can... Um... Oh, right. We're... Ah, yes. We need to make another series of everything. That's for later. Um, Which province is this? That's Rottweil. I'll send them here, and then these guys can go right there. I mean, actually, uh, strategic redeploy them to get them quickly. And now we have our first double stack ready. We'll have one of those in every area. Oh no, actually I was mistaken. I was shocked to inform that they're not giving us money for supplies anymore. Ah yes, what we need is everything in statin. So... One in Staten. That's two in Staten. And that's three in Staten. And now we can start sending them all back. And we cannot send them all at the same time because the units weigh a total of 70 while the transport ship only has room for 40. Oh, 90 in total, actually. So we can send one at a time. So we'll send the transport guys over there. Make sure that the first one will go to Elbing, also strategic redeployment. There we go. Next one is here. Get on the ship. You move there. What's this? Resource stockpile almost empty. Money. Ooh, we're losing a lot of money. It's actually not that good. Um, hmm. Losing money, fuel, and supplies as it stands. They are producing so much money though, which is annoying. Um, UK doesn't get as much. Nationalist, Spain, not as much money. Poland, no. Sweden, maybe Sweden would buy some supplies of us. Apparently they would not. Not even, that. well, the USA is making the most money, obviously, but... No, they will not buy any supplies of us. Venezuela is also making a lot of money, mostly due to... Our exports, or our imports, I should say. Um, trade is inactive, most likely due to either party being out of a traded resource. I guess the Soviet Union is out of money. Because we're not out of supplies as it is. Importing 15.3 crude oil. That's actually almost enough we need. But I would like to keep the USA a little bit more happy. So that's 6.3 for 3.5 money, Mexico's 2.8. Venezuela, well, I'll just stop this trade. 
2.8 i'll stop this as well and then we'll see how it goes with our money situation next um elbing ah that's that guy of course oh, and they are moving real quickly when they want to and they return there we go last one to ship abroad to east prussia and transport there we go and oh they arrived exactly at the same hour as the ship did which is nice uh, one more and then we are ready also means we can send that HQ unit to Allenstein closer to the front there we go and that's perfect and we have anti-tank ammunition and anti-aircraft carriage which are these two which I can of course then stop and let's have a mosey round to what we can do next 38 I don't want to start that until it's at least 37 so I guess we that's all 38 that's perfectly fine well we can just do submarine anti-aircraft means we have one more research possible and we'll also do battleship anti-aircraft I mean anti-aircraft is still not the most important uh, group to do but it's perfectly fine um you need to go up to no one actually only well and you go a bit up further i will keep doing this because it's something i need and because i like the symmetry of just seeing everything finishing one at a time from the top to the bottom submarine anti-aircraft is only is done only within three weeks after the hull because the hull is just more difficult to research while the hull is already this far completed like 15 20 percent somewhere and that's that i will start the next who'd give them money each day in exchange for fuel are we making money and yeah we are uh, now we're not we have another artillery brigade to be attached somewhere randomly. Uh, we do have to start watching out, of course. Oh, that's very good. Thank you, Austria. We have to watch out for it in the future because here we have already our anti-air brigade ready. So that we don't actually do that simultaneously and instantly add... Oh, hang on, hang on. Um. We have a research, we have more artillery brigades, which I like. That's a good one. That's decent. And at least they will disappear from this re uh, that list every time we add one now. So um, we had the Olympiads, the Germans won. Four, four medals were won by Jesse Owen, single most successful athlete of the games. Yay, we held the games of the 11th Olympiad. The 12th will be cancelled for obvious reasons. Oh, I don't want those trades. So, details. Command level structure, that's this one. It's attack movement, not the most important one. It would be done in 39, so I'm actually going to stop it and switch to this one, which is done in May next year. A lot better, basically. So researching from behind is better. At one point you will eclipse your research and then you can start looking at things that are actually ahead or looking at things you would normally not research just to get them out of the way. Such as light cruiser would be one of those in our case because I don't plan to have many and you know what, let's just get aircraft technology, uh, aircraft carrier technology out of the way. Because it's a cheap one, and I expect next year we can just push a lot of that research through, regardless. And there we are. I'm actually going to finish before Battleship Anti-Aircraft, I mean, really. Also, oh, another division is ready, which will be... Ah, yes, here's where we are going to have smaller issues, because... This unit now controls four. It can maximum... It has a maximum control of five units. So this also has three. Now the problem is, and that's what I'm gonna do now, we're gonna need a new, um, so we're gonna detach him. Actually, we shouldn't have the, I know we had to detach him. 
Um, because we're going to make a new... Oh, wait. Then we do need to detach them. Okay, so we just made a new HQ, which we're going to send to Tübingen. We're going to attach this one also to that core. And now I just need to check on the core numbers. I have to see which is the next one. And then I just need to remember that for the future. Because I just want to have everything numbered correctly. So uh, that's no axis. Um, IX. 12 is the first one on the list. So we need first core. It will be the 13th of May core. And that's like this. Then we need to have a defensive leader on you. Which we also need to do for some others. So I guess Dolman will be fine. And you two are... No, you need to be... Or you are already attached, which is perfectly fine. Then we need to attach the army core to the army in... Is this the closest one? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So, Mines has control of most of this army. I will send them to Stuttgart, by the way. Because we'll probably have to split up at one point as well, because the HQ... Oh, no. Hang on. Um, yeah, no, it will be fine. It now has four. It will get one more from this area. So, it is actually perfectly fine. So, first army is truly our defensive force. And we, of course, need another defensive one here as well. So, what now we can do is put a unit in here and our new anti-air unit and attach it to the army corps there and then we are slowly getting to the numbers we need i'm first gonna attach everything to the um french border because the french are of course the stronger group but slowly but surely we will get to a point where everyone is perfectly fine with uh, our defense here I mean we will have a uh, three ten thousand ten thousand plus seven so seventeen thousand thirty four sixty eight another f nine so it's actually almost it's hundred and fifty three thousand minimum along the French border perfectly fine yeah they start arriving where they need to go what do we get? Romania, of course, of course, and the same deal every time. Oh, we have actually finished another of our... Huh, you only have three of them. Oh, right, because one of them is actually across in the other nation. Oh, yeah, right, this is our um, Panzer Corps, so it's a bit full. I'll send these guys into Frankfurt am Main. That will be the next Luftflotte. I'll uh, collapse the armies for now. Um, it will be the fifth Luftflotte. So, five um, Luftflotte. Yes. Attach it to the Heeres group that's actually in the same province. And give you, like, Keller. Why not? We'll add another one to the bottom of the list over here. Oh, actually, it's already there. We already did that last time, so... Hmm. Oh, our uh, interceptors are working, that's fine. And we'll get IC on the 27th of October, as it stands now. Fools... Oh, that's actually annoying for us. Army Corps arrived in Mannheim, Bulgaria. No, I don't won't have the money for that. What? Austria as well? What a annoying bastards. No, I don't want to trade those things, because I'm not making any money anymore. We just lost... Oh, because we still had the other supply deal. Now the Soviet Union does have money for that one. <laughs> uh, refuse the offer of military access. Oh, nationalist China. Okay, we'll go for the next one in Offenburg, which will be here. And attach you to the Tübingen headquarters. And give you a defensive leader. The reason they're getting defensive leaders as well as um, old guard, the, bra the the star, means that they get half the usual experience. But these units are mostly going to be used just for defense against the French anyway. So we don't expect to need them in the attack. 
And the actual attack will mostly be done by the forces we have on the border with Poland, anyway. Um, less money. <clears throat> oh, destroyer, that's actually nice. Oh, we'll send them to the Kriegsmarine for now. Which means we're not de making any destroyers anymore, so we'll add a new one to the bottom of the list. They'll get stronger by every time they're made, and they'll be, f be able to be built faster as well every time. And efficiency will also help that specifically. So, next we'll have level organization. I think that's the one we actually need to keep doing. Ah, yes, nice. We have our transport fleet has been expand extended. A delay between attacks, that's the one we need to keep researching, even though it's 1941 before it's done. But it will slowly gain in speed because it's 1940. But by the time we're 1940, when it should be researched, it's like halfway done. We will hopefully get it done before actual war starts. And that's a huge, huge advantage in the war. Um, let's check up on our intelligence for a minute. I mean, we have 15 free spies, so we should be doing fine everywhere. So Austria, ruling party. It's not coming together just yet. Uh, French. Disrupting unity, it's now only at 41, so really taking, um, wow, 6% in Hungary, 10% in Romania, Romania, oh, we're actually not doing it in Hungary, so maybe start on it. Um, Soviet Union, we're not doing anything yet, but that's okay, um, that's actually perfectly fine, steel blueprints, prototypes, secret documents... Uh, well, we should eclipse them anyway, so it's not necessary. Switzerland, 9%. USA, um, 2% only, which is uh, too bad. And actually 2% as well in the UK. And that should have more effect in the long term. Still losing money. Um, we we'll give them supplies for money. Give them energy for money. Yeah, slowly they should give us some money that actually slows this down. Oh, we're off above 10,000 crude oil because we're not actually converting that much into fuel right now. We have, oh, that's actually f perfectly fine, a th big unit which will go to Mizritz to get our eastern border finished up. You have three, you have three, and you have three. I guess I should just get you out, make you a new one. Um, oops. Um, that was not smart. No, I need to connect you to the core. This will be the 14th core. So, XIV army core. And give you a attacking leader without the old guard stuff. Um, I guess you get to be a fortress buster. Why not? And then you are going to be attached to an army, but the armies are already full, so we need another army on the eastern front. So what we're going to do is make one, and that's detaching you, new army, which will be the fourth army. And this is all just for um, making it all look a lot nicer. I will put this army group in Breslau for now. And you also get a good attacking leader with a lot of um, power. Oh, we have used all our threes yet. Oh, let's get this guy. He's fine too. So while this one is attached, I can also attach this group to it. There will be one, two, three, four armies definitely attached to it. Which means that this one should be attached to the other one. So this will be... Um, hang on, you have this. One, two, three, four. And actually, that would mean one, two, three. Okay, so this guy needs to go to Glogau. And that's a new guy, actually. And you need to stick there. You can just get a three without a skill. You don't always need a skill. Sure, I will take your money. Um, so now we will have one, two, three and four five something in Prussia. it'll be fine we'll probably have uh, get some more stuff here maybe i think poland will actually get this uh, province at one point as well that's perfectly fine i guess army arrived that's good how's our production looking it's perfectly fine 
we're actually in the plus when it comes to our supplies. We're actually down in consumer goods now because I don't know why. Oh, um, uh, mobilize regular brigades, mobilized reserves. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, something made it go up. Anyway, let's put it back on that mark. Delay mass assault and central planning. Jeez, that's a lot. So we have mass assault, which you can keep doing central planning and delay. We can all keep going. They'll be done in May of next year, which is fine. May 30th. So let's put them down there. And you up one, yeah. Because it's 36, I can just keep researching it and get some more um, practical or theoretical skill on it as well. Let's see. Um, they will stop it. Uh, yes, I will gladly accept your offer. So that should, we're almost. Ah, oh, they already stopped it. Making money can be tough. Might have to renegotiate one of our uh, crude oil deals as well for this. Um, destroyer and main armament and anti-aircraft. So this is all 38. Um, should be fine. A landing craft to actually get on land. Small warship. We need radar. I guess we can start on radar already. Even though it's 39, it will... Uh, severely increase in speed at one point, especially because we're only three months in before the next year. And let's see what else I want. Canal computing would be December of 38. Yeah, actually pretty fast. I'll start this one as well because resource efficiency will speed up them all. And the electronic computing machine is 5% at once. So... That's going to be fine. We have two more anti-air divisions. One of them will go here and be attached to Tübingen. You want it a starred. I'll just get this guy. Next one can go to Karlsruhe. And I will give you and also a general... I need to do sword on traits. That's better. And you go to Mannheim. Yes, perfect. Perfect. This one will probably also be split up at one point, but for now it's perfectly fine. Oh, hello. China has actually gotten more land. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's now a bit bigger than it used to be. Oh, the Gangsi click still exists, but a lot smaller. Actually, this way. Wow, I think they might have taken something from Yunnan as well. But it's just a matter of, um, well, maybe half a year at most, I guess, until Japan attacks China to take stuff from them as well. Um, Finland trade offer. Give them energy for money. I like. And they stop it. I'm going to have to cancel a good import. Eh, let's just stop the one with Persia. I know, I know. We're now making money again. 1.76. Let's go to the US and buy some more from them because our relations are high. They'll actually give us a bit more for the same amount of money. Uh, I think this will be fine. There we go. They're giving us more oil. This will go up a bit. Ah, now it goes. Yes, it's at 40 every day. That's going up. Ooh, unter Seeboot und Sicherungs. We'll put you there for now, and we have our first garrison. So what I will do is, and this guy there, you will get a new force as well soon. And we need, of course, a definitely a crappy leader here. Um, I'll give you Hase. Okay, I need to test you here. This will be the um, first Sicherungs probably I guess and they need to attach them to an army there will be well I can just attach it to the Heroes group for now I suppose you also get a leader with this 
And since you will be overseeing a couple of ports, you will just go to Hamburg for now too. There we go. So there will be one in one, two, three, four, five places. So Emden, Wilhelmshaven, Hamburg, Kiel, and Lübeck. And the other one will get Rostock, Stetten, Kolberg, um, Königsberg, and Memel. There we go. Um, Romania. Ooh, more energy for them. There we go. And it's about time to wrap up this episode. I mean, we're building units left and right. They're being deployed as well. It's just the build-up is always a bit slow. Ooh, this is actually a really good start. Oh, yes, thank you, USA. This is actually a really good one because we can start on the medium tank brigade now. Yay! Um, April 23rd, so you can go in here. Industrial efficiency. It will actually, it should actually speed up as well as soon as the new year comes around, because of the efficiency stuff. But then we'll have to start on these as well when it's done. And there's so much to research and so much more unlocks at a time. Um, submarines are going well. Nothing needed here. Heavy cruiser. Hmm. Battle cruiser. Hmm. Not sure which will be better, the battle cruisers or. Uh, the battleships, but we'll see in the future. This is all 39, which is not yet important. Industry as well. Um, I guess we'll just go and do something here. Large front. Shock is usually a good one to research, so... And then I'll do a salt concentration. July 4th, which is actually perfectly fine when it comes to the speed it researches in. There we go. Education, mechanical computing, close after one another, both will be important. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you guys later.